Hey everyone, so um, I just want to go over the math problem in the first episode of Sugaku Joshi Gaku, which is a drama full of HP members, or Hello Project members. And so I want to go over the math problem because you know I, I like math. <laughs> Anyways, so here's the situation for this math problem. A transfer student, Husky, shown here, is accused of peeping at Sayuri's underwear, who's up here at the top of the staircase. Now, Sayuri draws the following diagram. She says that here to here is 3 meters, and here to here is 3 meters. This makes it a 45 degree angle right here. And says that from the bottom of her feet to the bottom of her skirt is 60 centimeters. Now, drawing this new triangle to take into account has key's vision. Um, Saidi asks Nina, who's protecting the transfer student who hates math, to solve the angle at which Husky has is supposedly peeping at Saidi's underwear. All right. So the square here is, just says that's a right angle triangle and it's 90 degrees. This is theta. It's a Greek letter used to indicate angles, especially those you need to solve. So Nina's thinking hard, right? Says, there's some information missing. So how does she get information? She used her hands to measure key measurements of Saidi's skirt. She figures out that from here to here is 28 centimeters, and here to here is 35 centimeters. But she draws it like this. At first I didn't understand until I drew this dotted line to represent that it's a triangle. So you can see that the underwear is here. As you can see, underwear. All right. In the drama, she writes pants here, so underwear. And she draws an arrow writing skirt, so skirt diagram. Using these two measurements, she draws it here for another triangle. And it's 28, 35, and here's the angle to be solved. What's very important is that this angle here is the same as this angle here. So once we solve this angle, we know that angle. Because they're the same angle. Alright, so let's go and look at Nina's redrawn version of Sayuri's diagram. So looks kind of, kind of different. First major difference is that everything's in centimeters. Just to stay consistent, so consistent with your units, it's actually really important in math. Another thing is this x. This is because we need to know Husky's height to know all the information about this new triangle. So how do we get this information about this new triangle? We know that from the bottom of the stairs to the bottom of Saidi's skirt is 360. So that must mean from here, from the bottom of Saidi's skirt to Husky's height, it must be 360 minus x. Also, since Husky is standing up, that this measurement here and this measurement here are equivalent, so they're both 300 centimeters. So we have numbers for two sides of the triangle. But we still can't solve it, just not yet. But we can first, like, we need to solve for the angle theta and x. We're going to first solve for the angle theta using Nina's skirt diagram. So simplify, no need to for the underwear stuff. So using Sokotoa, this is just um, something that's been made up, like, many years. You might have learned it when you learned trigonometry. It's easy to remember how to calculate sine, cosine, and tangent. We're going to use the toe part. So the t is for 10. The L is for the opposite side of the angle. So the length of the opposite side of the angle. A is for the adjacent side. So the length of the adjacent side. So using these two, me two measurements, we can solve for the angle. Here we go. So tan theta equals to the opposite side, which is 28 centimeters, over the length of the adjacent side, which is 35 centimeters. Comes out to 0 0.8. Now, the 0 0.8 means nothing right here at the moment, since we want the angle. To get the angle, we need to do the um, inverse function, because the tan here is a function. So this is not a multiplication. This is actually like the inverse function with this inside. So inverse tan of 0 0.8 is approximately equal to 39 degrees. So you see this wiggly line? That means that's approximately. If it was two straight lines, it means equal, like here. So equal to 0 0.8, 0, 0, 0. So this is equivalent, because actually, if you calculate, use your calculator, you get 38.6 something something. 
you can round up and it comes 39. So it's right. So now that we have the angle, we can use this over here. We're going to use the same concept. So it's tan also. So the tan theta for this triangle would be equivalent to well, equal to 360 minus x, or the opposite, over the adjacent 300 centimeters. Now, if you looked at it just like this, we have two unknowns, but we just solved the tan theta. Now, we're not going to use this angle, we're going to use this 0 0.8 right here, because they're equal. So, we're going to plug that in, as you can see here. 0 0.8 equals 360 minus x over 300. Cross multiply, you get 240 equals 360 minus x. Bring the 360 over, so it becomes negative, so 240 minus 360 equals minus 120 equals minus x, the negative is still there. Multiply it by negative 1 on both sides, you get x equals 120. <clears throat> so she solves for Hasky's height. But that's not Hasky's height. His real height is 170 centimeters. So at this point, you think that Nina solved everything and that um, the transfer student uh, is let off the hook, right? Now he's not peeping top. But Sayu says, what if he was bending down? Yeah, that could have been possible. But the statement becomes null becomes null due to her compass saying that oh she saw from the second floor window, which is probably around here. Anyways, saying that if he was bending like but everyone knows that if someone's bending down and you're looking from the second floor window, you can't see that person unless they're standing up. So the compass pretty much, you know, said a statement that didn't help out in this problem. And of course, Husky didn't actually see her underwear. That wasn't a pee, pee Tom in the first place, you know, just uh, trying to get some revenge in this uh, episode here. Anyway, so that wasn't too complicated math problem. So here's the whole thing, starting from the initial diagrams to all the solving here. So I hope that was clear, and I hope to solve more math problems from this drama. This is actually really fun. And it's been a while since I've done math like this, so it's really exciting. So, um, I hope to see you in episode two, and I hope to solve more math problems. <laughs> Alright, bye!